Hello, good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. Hi. Hi, nice to see you. How are nice you? Nice to see you too. <laughs> nice to see you. Great to see that. That you're okay. I was checking. Many, many people are sick. What's going on? Why? Imagine if we were face to face, right? Because we have okay, about six sick people today. Okay, but Sean. Let's see. Check in attendance. Name. Adolfo Rivas. Adolfo, hello. Hello here. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Adriana Sofia. Ana. Ana. Mm -hmm. Brenda. No, Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. I am at work, teacher. Mm -hmm. I am a listener for class. Quien, 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 quien. Claudia. Eh, Brenda Alexandra. Brenda, 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 no hay Brenda. Claudia here. Uh -huh. eh, Cruz Antonio. Presente. Uh -huh. David Alexander. Presente. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio, José Alberto, José Alberto, José Alfredo, José Alfredo, Mike, José Arnoldo, José Arnoldo, no hay José Arnoldo, Carla Lorena, Carla Lorena, no hay Carlita, Kevin Adonai, Mauricio Emilio, present teacher, okay. Nubia Zulema, present Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl Edgardo. Sulmayanet. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Victor, Fernando Enrique, present teacher, Rosa Hilda, Soyer, how many people, ten people, okay. 
Vamos a ver. Hmm. Of the same people. Alberto no here, right? Claudia. Is Victor here? Nubia. Ana. Present. Okay. Adolfo. ¿Y qué les pasó por la gripe? No pasa por lo virtual. <ríe> ¿Qué les pasó? Que todos se me enfermaron al mismo tiempo. Es que ahorita se han incrementado los casos, Fitch. Anda, anda el coronavirus. Y no se quiten la mascarilla. Coronavirus is back. No se quiten la mascarilla, aunque no sea obligatoria, es necesaria. No se la quiten. Sé que es, es bien difícil andar sin mascarilla, o sea, andar con mascarilla todo el tiempo, pero es sumamente importante. ¿Quién es el que, me, el que aparece en el chat como user? Es mi teacher, Brenda. ¿Quién es mi? Ah, Brenda. Es que como sí. user aparece. Lo siento, es que no, nunca había, no, no me gusta tener mi nombre completo, pero desde ahorita, mientras estoy en el curso, se lo pongo. <risa> <risa> o sea, ¿qué, qué? ¿Cómo, le, ¿Cómo veo que es el que no está? Ok. Híjole, pero qué tremendo. Tengo cuántos enfermos aquí. Seis. No, cinco, vea. Porque Alberto no es que esté enfermo, es del trabajo. Ok. Yo estoy enferma, pero aquí estoy. <risa> Eso. No. Zulma también está enferma. Y él se llama Bao. Three days sick with flu mm. and cold. Vaya. Qué tremendo, ¿no? Que me acaban de escribir. Yo estoy con COVID. Qué feo. Bueno. Hay que cuidarse en todo lo posible porque que esta cosa, saber cuándo se va a terminar de ir, ¿verdad? Saber, y bueno, parte es de COVID, parte es los vientos, las lluvias que vienen trayendo otras cepas de otras gripes, las influencias y todo. Yo el lunes dije, ay, no, Dios guarde, lunes. Yo estaba con un dolor de cabeza y me dio fiebre, pero así bien. Terminé la clase que termina a las 5 y 10 y me fui a recostar y le digo a, a mi niña, me siento con temperatura. Y sí tenía temperatura, me pusieron un trapo caliente encima, mojado. Me tomé dos pastillas y me dormí hasta tipo 7 casi. Y, y así, con dolor de cabeza, se anduve martes, pero gracias a Dios, solo fue eso, ¿verdad? hasta allí, pero siete, es de cuidarse, de caminarse, para que no, no nos alcance esta cosa. Vaya, vamos a ver, let's, let's see. Okay. Now let's go to the beginning. I'm going to share. I have some crazy questions for you today. <laughs> to animate you, right? To animate you. Because I know. I Did know. you present? Quien, Carlita? Hola. 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 <laughs> así como que, ¿quién, quién, quién? Tu teacher Brenda present. 
Delta present. Vaya, vamos a ver. Y me doy, quiero ver. Vaya, los que no me respondieron, vamos a ver si han llegado. Adolfo. Adriana María. Adriana, Adriana María. Oh, vaya. Yes. Yeah, más. Adriana Sofía. Adriana Sofía. No hay. Ana in traffic. Brenda, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, teacher. Alberto, José Alfredo. José Alfredo debe estar en traffic también. José Arnoldo. Carlita. Kevin Adonai no hay. Saúl Edgardo. Víctor. En Rosy. Rosy. Rosy es otra que ha estado con gripe también. Bueno. Ahí estamos. Ok. Va, check. Eh, we're talking about the seven R's. In logistics, and the objective is participating. teacher, good evening for all. Hey, hello. Pero usted cuando dijo que estaba enfermo, estaba bromeando, ¿verdad, Adolfo? No. No. I, I, want, to, I want to learn, simply. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay. No, really, you're sick too. Wow. Yeah. Wow, we have magic. Uh, I'm I, I just drink. Oh, I'm just drinking tea. Uh, ginger tea. I that's delicious. Yeah, ginger. with honey. B. Mm. Ginger cam chamomile with ginger. Yeah, Perfect. of course. Some lemon and some lemon honey and pepper. Mm. Yeah. And pepper. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's new for me. I have never. Okay. So, check. We're talking about the relevance of the seven R's in logistics. You will see the seven R's are very, very simple. And that's what we are going to be discussing today. I told you. I told you I have some crazy questions for you today. So let me to separate each. But check. What do you think? What do you think? If you were setting off to math and could take only one luxury item with you, what would it be? You're setting off to math. You're setting off to math and could take only one luxury item with you. Only one luxury item. Yes. Um, my smartphone to take picture. But a smartphone, no it's luxury. It's not luxury. Yeah, it yeah no. <laughs> no. It, it Everyone it, has a uh, smartphone. It depends. Yeah, on but. But the, oh, condition, example, the condition example, is different. It depends on how For example, it, it could be a, a yacht. A what? Or a airplane. A yacht or a airplane. Okay. Hmm? Too much. But you are but you are going traveling to another planet, right? Yeah, I, 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 you, I just put that example to, to, to say that nobody has uh, normally a, a judge or a apron. So everybody has a, a, a smartphone. So it will be no uh, luxury. 
Do you think it's not Maybe. that luxury? Yes. I think the luxury is more privilege. Okay. Okay. I I think it depends on the smartphone, right? Depends on the smartphone too. If it is like mine, it's marca pajarito is not a luxury. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But some came. Yeah, but not, no, it's the same if you, for example, has your phone, or for example, you say, uh, maybe I would like to has the iPhone, the last iPhone, and you don't have that iPhone. So it could be the luxury because you don't have it. Okay. So what about you, Mauricio? What would you take with you? But you can take only one luxury item. Um, let me think. Uh, could be uh, maybe a... I, I don't know how to say uh, the you know the 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 airplanes that develop a, a SpaceX. Aha, uh -huh. but how would you fit that in the rocket? In the, in the, in the what? In the rocket, you're going to Mars. To Mars. Yeah. Because Elon you're, Musk. You're going, yeah, okay. You're going to Mars, right? So Elon Musk is taking you to Mars. Yeah. You have the chance to but take because Mars. because rocket rocket rocker is rockets is the is the transport. You you can you can you can not get um another 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 plane for example mm -hmm. I, I you say a small thing. I you say I you say that uh, that rocket will be mine no that rocket will, will mm -hmm. be my transportation no you are okay. traveling in a rocket right so because you're going to yeah, of course you're there is another way uh-huh this is the this is the unique yeah, so you're going to Mars, but you can take only one luxury item with you. What would it be? Okay, maybe a, a, a good camera, but professional camera. Okay, for taking pictures. Okay. Yeah, nice. one. <laughs> okay, look at the question. If you could become a supernatural creature at night, like the soap opera, La Mujer del Espejo, she was beautiful during the night, but she was not so beautiful during the day. Bang, bang. <laughs> so if you could become a supernatural creature at night, what would it be and why? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you could be a supernatural creature at night, mm. what would it be? And why? I prefer to be a bat. A bat? Okay. Yeah. Okay, why a bat? Yeah, because uh, because bats are are uh, always uh, always fly uh, at night, right? They can see, they can smell, they can go anywhere and eat something. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. You yeah. Let's see, Adolfo, choose another volunteer to answer that question. Who else will answer that question? Me, teacher. Tell me, Marisa. 
Normally in, in the Salvadorian legend, um, El Chamuco just appear in the night. So maybe I want to be the Chamuco. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah, what happened? Why El Chamuco? Right, because you say that a uh, supernatural creature that appear in, at the night. Uh -huh. And the Chamuco is supposed to just appear at the night. And the and the Dorian Lane. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a scream person. Okay. I see. I see. One more volunteer to answer that question. Adriana Maria. What would you be? Um. <laughs> Maybe a mermaid. A mermaid. Hmm. Yeah. Why a mermaid? Um, I always like this kind of culture, uh, because I love water. I'm afraid a little bit about sea, but I love water. And the idea to be to can um live uh in water. I don't know. Uh, como vivir en el agua. <laughs> Living uh, and uh -huh. that's original, yes. right? Uh huh. Being a mermaid, okay. Mermaid, yes. Excellent, Carlita. What about you? What would you be? Mm, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I I I would like to be uh uh someone that can can be helped to animals. Okay, uh, uh, a supernatural creature that helps animals. Okay, I don't know. Teacher, and what what about you? Me. Good question. <laughs> a tinker <laughs> a tinker bell to be flying all around. I don't know if that exists or not, but to be flying and watching the people when they are sleeping. <laughs> okay. Right. Interesting. Yeah, we'll keep active watching that the people sleep. Well, and that's sleep in peace. Okay, let's see the next question. Which fictional character would you want by your side during a zombie apocalypse? I told you, I brought crazy questions today. Which fictional character would you want by your side during a zombie apocalypse? Uh -huh, el apocalypse zombie. Who? Or which fictional character would you want by your help you, to protect you? Mm -hmm. Can be a superhero. Uh, a seven head monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Pedro? Which character would you want by your side during an apocalypse, a zombie apocalypse? I don't know, maybe uh, um, La, uh, Alice, I think is she uh, is her is her name. Alice is uh, the uh, the protagonist. The starring uh, of the of a movie of zombies uh, is called oh, I, I forgot the name. Ah, the 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 name. Hey, that's the that's that, 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 that the one of Twilight. No, uh, the Resident Evil. 
Oh. Movie, President Evil. Okay. Alice, because she can kill every zombie. <laughs> ah, okay. Then she will be the perfect one. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see, Fernando, what about you? Maybe, maybe Iron Man. Okay. Okay, I was, I was thinking about Thor. Jesus. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> why, why Iron Man? Because he's smart and he, he can kill everything uh -huh. with his armor. Okay. Very good. Sorry, teacher, I am fixing. You're fixing? Yeah. Okay. David, yeah. what about you, David? About the book question, teacher. Number three. Which fictional character would you want by your side during a zombie apocalypse? Uh. Difficult. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't see more movies the zombie, but the, I remember the Resident Evil. Okay. So, which fictional character would you want by your side? I don't remember the the actor teach. It can but be the movie other fictional character, not necessarily from a zombie movie, right? Ah, okay. Uh, maybe Riddick. Ah, yes. Yeah, that would be a good Riddick. choice. That would be a good choice. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Excellent, and we go for the last question. If you wear a cocktail, <laughs> if you wear a cocktail, which one would you be? Who's? If you wear a cocktail, which one would you be? Muñeco. <laughs> Muñeco. <laughs> <laughs> Or tic tac. <laughs> La trenzuda. Okay. Caña rica. Margarita, no. okay. Caña, caña no. rica. <laughs> caña rica. Margarita. Piña colada. Okay, a piña colada, nice. I am a blood Mary. Conga, conga teacher. A conga. Okay, no, we are conga. Para, para, no, we are no, we Okay, I was thinking more, uh, well, as I don't drink, I don't know about cocktails, but I was thinking about a shrimp's cocktail. The mojito to Mojito. Okay. Mojito. What did you say? Three. The Anna is talking, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So you see different things. Now let's go to the discussion. What are the reasons? What is logistics? What is logistics? What do you think logistics is about? What is logistics? Thank you, Fernando. Uh -huh. What is logistics? Who can tell me? Log logistic, maybe it could be the way of do something. 
Okay. It's all the process that you create the product and you sell to the customer. Okay. And what about the logistics? What is the logistics? What is a logistics? Um, the person that coordinate in different phase mm -hmm. uh, from production to the to the customer. The person who coordinates logistics is a logistician, right? And what I that person's responsibilities. What are the logic um, responsibilities? Transport coordination, uh, quantity of productions, mm -hmm. um, and feeding a store, department store. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Exactly. I check. Check, check. We have a conversation. We will read the conversation here. We will answer a couple of our questions. Now, check. Let's listen and read the conversation together. So sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, now let's read together. I'm going to be Alex and you're going to be Pam. go down this month, Pam. Okay. In groups or together? In, I will read that and you're going to be Pam. Okay. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order from, forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh, oh no, please call the manager from the, from the distribution, distribution center, center that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right store temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the calls was not handled correctly. Um, I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, now you are Alex. I'm going to be Pam. One, two, three, go. Go. There was a problem with their order form from the website the product were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly in the bar. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know. Repeat, month. Month. 
Website. 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 Deliver. 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 Distribution centers. Distribution centers. Distribution centers. Distribution centers. Managers. 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 Distribution center. Received. Batteries. Batteries. Storage. Storage. Right. Right. Temperature. 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 Great. What does great mean? Great. Let's take the meaning of the word. Like a pallet or like a box? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I cannot show you a picture, right? That's a slatted wooden case. Or that would be like a box. A box. A box. Like okay. The, which the one they transport bananas. That's a. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And that case was no handle. Right, so it broke. And the back, handle. 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 Mm -hmm. handle. Damaged. 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 Personally. 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 Manufacturer. 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 Well, now I'm going to send you to the groups to practice the conversation and answer this question based on the conversation. Okay. So really, I was to in pairs. Hmm. Join the group. Join Jose Alfredo, are you? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Join, please. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, Saul. Por ahí está Claudia. How are you, teacher? Fine, and you? Fine. I'm fine too. Really? That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Claudia is not here. Page, page number 17, right? Yes. Yes. The manual page 17. Okay. But I see Claudia. Thank you. Claudia is not. Alfredo, hello. Teacher, okay. What number page? 17. 17. Okay. Can you chair, Alfredo, or you, Saul? Somebody can chair. I can share. Perfect. Uh, um, uh, tell me when you see the screen, please. Yeah, but, but... <clears throat> Okay. I'm um, uh, Alex. Uh, you or me? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, me. Okay, I I will be fun. Okay. So you start. Sales will go down, go down this month. Um, there was a problem with the order forms from the website. And the products were not delivered to the right distribution center. The batteries are damaged. I will call them for some personality to request for damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay. Okay. Finish. Finish. Uh... <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Only, only practice or uh, the question. continue the, the question. Yeah. Okay. Answer the questions once you finish. Can what caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? What page is this? Ah, it's 17. 17. What caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? Um, they have problems with the other farms? What caused the products to be delivered to the ground distribution center? Uh, maybe say the website, the problem from the website. With the other forms with the website. Uh -huh, with is the order forms the order, from the website. Correct. Uh-huh. There was a problem. The website. Mm -hmm. There was a problem. There was a problem with the with the order forms. Mm -hmm. Because Because order from uh -huh, because order, was because order. there was a problem with the order okay. forms from the website, I guess. Okay. Oh. From the website. Because what was the problem? Mm -hmm. Oh, because it was a problem. It was a problem with the order forms from the website. Okay. What happened to the products? What happened to the products? Mm -hmm. to receive the damage. Who? Nicole what happened to their product? One of the crates was not handled correctly. Or maybe the products are damaged. <laughs> yes, uh, maybe a PDF. I don't have a PDF, but we can we can write. Uh, I I start. Okay. Sales will go down this month. Pan. There was a problem. There was a problem with the order forms from the website, and the product were not delivered to the right distribution center. Oh no! Please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive or but batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly, correctly, and the batteries are not, no, and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damage.
batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Now I start. Okay, Sophie. Okay. The shelves will go down to small span. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. 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 I already did. <laughs> I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. Sulma, you can continue. <laughs> <laughs> I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay. What causes? What causes? What is the pronunciation, teacher? Oh no! Oh, please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform. Carlita. <laughs> What is the pronunciation that cows, cost. causes? Cost. Cause. cost. What cows? Mm -hmm. What cost the products to be delivered? What cost? Mm -hmm. What cost? What cost? The product. Uh, ah. What's a problem? Um, what's a problem with the order forms? Uh -huh. Yes, a problem with the order forms from the website. Mm -hmm. The problem with the order forms. Hi, hi. Hi, Me la llevo. Hola. No. I have a partner with you here, chicos. What? You have a new partner right here in Nubia. Okay, <laughs> welcome. Was abandoned. Thank you. <laughs> she was abandoned. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, we we finish, teacher. Only only the practice the conversation and okay. answer the question. I answer the questions exactly. Did you? If you finish, we can leave. I think the others are like at one question to finish. While I give you one minute, everybody will be finishing, right? Let's okay. Go Okay, let's see. Question number one. What caused the products to be delivered to the ground distribution center? Mm -hmm. What caused the products to be delivered to the ground distribution centers? Um, a problem with the website for with the website order form. Okay. So was the location or was okay the address wrong? The address. Mm -hmm. Was the address wrong? Probably right. Okay. What happened? Mm. To the um, batteries was damaged by high temperature. The high temperature. Okay. I suppose, I suppose that. And remember that the crate was not handled correctly, right? That yeah, but, but she explained uh, about the high, about the temperature. Temperature. Mm -hmm. Temperature. So the two things, right? Yeah. Temperature and that thing of not handling the correct. Mm -hmm. Because remember, when you receive a box, I don't have my own. when you receive the boxes, it says fragile all around the box, right? We have a label that says fragile. Fragile, fragile, fragile. And it is supposed that they have also a narrow that goes. Pointing at the position, something like that. Right? Pointing at the position, you should put the crate or the box, right? Because if you put it in the wrong position, you can damage the product. So that is also very important. Not only the label that says fragile everywhere, right, it says fragile. But also, ah, sorry. Yeah, not only the, the fragile all around, but also the arrow pointing on the position of the box. Okay, number three. Who will pump coal to receive the damaged products? To the managers. To the managers, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, Remember, we have been talking about logistics, right? So to the manager or the manufacturer. Vamos a ver, I because go. because Alex asked. Mm -hmm. I will call them. Yeah. Because Pam say to Alex, please call the managers. Uh huh. But the managers that receive the batteries, right? Yeah. And Alex says that he already did. But there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries. So I will call them personally. Ya no lo va a llamar Alex. We'll call them personally. Yeah. Request for the batteries. Okay. So she will say, okay, uh, 
Pepito, right? Please send me the damage batteries. I will send them yes. to one who did them. I will send them back to the manufacturer and the manufacturer will know what to do if they can be fixed or if, if they are trash. Mm -hmm. So she will call the managers. Now, what is logistics? Going to vocabulary that we're going to be using in the reading we will have soon. What is logistics? We have time on process it. of planning. Mm -hmm. Executive the efficient transportation. Ay, uh -huh. pero me quito la. Sí, no, sorry. Es que antes de que me olvide, voy a checar attendance. Y después. <laughs> ok, para que no vaya a ser que después se me olvide. Adolfo Rivas. Present teacher. Present. Ya. Yeah. Adriana María. Present. Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana. No, Ana. Eh, Brenda. Present, teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Elmer. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alberto. No, verdad, sea José. José Alfredo. <ríe> ya voy. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Arnoldo. José Arnoldo. Present. Okay. Carla Lorena. Present. Pobre Chuchito, no lo tengo molestando. Vaya, oigan, me, me han estado señalando. Me han estado señalando. My neighbor. Sí, me han estado señalando que hay bastante ruido. Este. Si tienen ruido cerquita, dejen el micrófono cerrado y lo abrimos solo un ratito para hablar y después lo cerramos. Ay. Eh, vamos a ver, Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Present. Kevin. Se nos perdió Kevin, ¿verdad? Mauricio Emilio. Present. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Present. Zulma Yanet. Present. Victor. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Rosy, no hay dos. Ok, bueno. Ok, great. Now, 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 we chair again. Let's see. Check. What is logistics? No, Ok, logistics. Logistic is the process of planning and executing the efficient transportation and storage of goods from the point of origin to the point of consumption. The goal of logistics is to meet customer requirement in a timely, cost-effective manner. Mm -hmm. Remember that uh, we said yesterday, time is money, right? And when imagine, imagine a restaurant doesn't receive the product that they need for preparing a special dish, the restaurant is losing money. 
right? So that's why this part of logistic is so important. It is the process of planning, right? Planning and executing the efficient transportation and storage of goods. So uh, I have the product, right? The product is already manufactured. The creation, elaboration, manufacturing of the product doesn't enter here. This is only, I have the product, but how am I storing my product that it comes <laughs> for me to take it out, to move it to everything, that planning that we make, that has to be very good plan to have a good execution of this transportation from one place to another. And be sure that we don't have the problem that you saw in the conversation, right? That the product went on a different direction. So the product has to get to the place of consumption, it says, right? From one point to the other point, yeah? Where is the point of origin here? I'm going to the point of the consumption or the point where it is required, right? And remember, as we said before, taking care of the box, taking care of all the, the, the the things that you're carrying because sometimes they are fragile. Uh, how can we say manage or handle those boxes correctly? I remember a couple of years ago, I saw a group of people, of course, they were in, in charge of the transportation of uh, some boxes I imagine they were it was uh, they were products from uh, from a company that sells here perfume perfumes and makeup and many other things right but between like the most important perfumes and makeup and I was surprised and that caught my attention because I was surprised to see how they were taking the boxes and throwing them. Imagine what are about if it is perfume that can get broken or if they were glasses because that company sells a lot of products, not only makeup and perfumes, but they, they sell things for the house and, and they are things made of glass too. But they were throwing the things and in that case, Probably they will be working with the time correctly. But what about the customer's requirements? Right? Not just in timely, but being effective, right? Being effective because when you want or when you ask for a product to be sent from a point A to point B, you want the product to get in good condition, right? So logistics are supposed to do that and to check all those things and check that the product that you're getting or that you want to get is going to get on time and in good condition too, right? Now, what is water warehousing? Warehousing. Who wants to read? Yes, Claudia? Warehousing? No, they... mm -hmm. Can you read the definition? Uh, uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, what is warehousing? Is simply another there for a warehousing. It is a commercial burning. Pardon where good or grand materials are stored for use is production or for sale. Our warehouse provides a central location for re re receiving, receive, storing, 
and distribution around good or finished product. Mm -hmm. So check, the warehousing is simply another term for warehouse. What is the warehouse? Remember what we were talking here about the efficient transportation and the storage, right? So the warehouse is the place, can be a building, right? Where the goods are stored. So check that stored in this case is a verb, right? It's not that store where I go to buy, right? It's not that. Right now I'm talking about store like a verb. That means guardar or keep, right? So it is a building, a commercial building where goods, when we talk about goods, it can be whatever. It can be chairs, tables, eh, computers, radios, eh, cell phones, tablets, any product, right? Any product that you sell, is a good, right? So where goods are stored, right? Or where raw materials are stored. When we talk about the raw material, for example, we're talking about if, if in your company you make shoes, the shoes will be the goods and the raw material will be the leather that you buy for making the shoes, the leather and all the rest of the things that you need for making the shoes. That's the raw material, right? And they, uh, they are stored for us in production or for sale. Production, if it is raw material, or the goods that are already finished, they are stored there for sale. Right. Remember yesterday we were talking about having an inventory or having a, a stock of products. And we have the stock here in the warehouse. A warehouse yeah. provides a central location for receiving, storing, and distributing. If you go to uh, any store and you say, I want to buy a, refri a refrigerator, they don't give you the one that is in the store, a menos que sea Black Friday, ¿verdad? They send it to you from the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So, a warehouse. In my case, ¿Sí? in my case uh, the warehousing is the all the activities that take, uh, take the place inside the, the warehouse. Related to the storage, right? Related yes. to storage of the product, exactly. So check, and they are in charge of receiving, storing, and distributing raw goods of finished products, right? It doesn't matter uh, which you are keeping there in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Questions? No questions about this. No. Clear like your chat. <laughs> okay, Vasha. Now let's talk about logistics and the and the functions, right? We're talking about transportation and warehousing. That is, uh, those two things are part of the logistics, right? Those are the first or the major functions of logistics, the transportation, moving the product from here to here, or the warehousing that has to be with the storage of the product. And then it says that transportation management focuses on planning, optimizing, and executing the use of vehicles to move goods between warehouses, retail locations and customers. And here I'm going to give you an example. Imagine uh, last year, we asked for some material, right? Uh, from a, 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 a,
by it. But we ask for some material, right? And the thing is something that really called our, caught our attention was that we were asking for a couple of things. Hardware store. The hardware store, thank you, Marisa. So imagine, we were asking for one tabla, what, two tabla rocas, and we were asking for some other small things. Can you imagine that we didn't have one truck bringing the material? We had two. And we were like, okay, why? If there, the material was not much, and we had first coming one with one part of the material, and then the other one with the other part of the material. It's like, why? To, uh, that is, and that came to my mind thinking about this optimizing the optimization of the use of the vehicles to move the goods, right? Imagine if they had to go take some material to another customer and they were using two trucks to bring mine, when in a small truck, they, in a small pickup, they could bring the two things. But that is a, not optimizing the vehicles, right? The use of vehicles. So that is a function of the logistics, yeah? Planning. For example, uh, when you go to EPA and you ask for something, they tell you in three days, we are sending it to you or will you come and pick it up? That's part of the plan. Because in the part of the logistics that they have the warehousing, where they have the storage of the product, they go get the product, keep it there in the store. If you will go pick it up, or they make a different plan and they execute it, sending you the product to your house, right? But that would be moving the product from the warehouse to you as a customer, but that is part of the logistics. Mm -hmm. Now, the, tra the transportation is multimodal, it says, right? And it depends on where you get things from. It can include the ocean. And that's why the name of shipping, right? The shipping, no es que siempre va a ser por chip. Maybe it can be via air or rail in the train, right? Or the Norm normally it's cheap, it's, it's cheap because it's uh, cheaper. It's cheaper at shipping. Yes, probably, right? So it will include, Definitely. imagine if you're getting something from China, it takes a uh, first, it goes to Colombia, and from Colombia, they send it to El Salvador. I don't know if they will use ocean or air, or probably a combination, right? Probably. But that is a, the transportation of the logistics can be any of the four. So that can be multimodal. Any questions about this? Mm -hmm. No? Easy. Todo claro o nada claro. <laughs> Can be any of the reasons. Uh -huh. Any questions? Not, not for me, teacher. Okay. Let's give me a second. Pedí agua y me tapan la botella como que yo tengo fuerza en mi pobre vasito. Auxilio. Vaya. Ok. Vaya. Sí, ya traté. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Let's move to the next, uh, to the next reading. 
check. Why is it important? Check and pay attention to this. Sometimes, right, although many small businesses focus on the design and production of the products and services to best meet customers' needs, if those products cannot reach customers, the business will fail, right? And the role of the logistics is that, to check that the product get from the company or from the, the person who did it to the person who's going to consume it, yes? Okay. Now, we are going to be talking today about the seven R's. Which are those seven R's? Check the right product, the right quantity, the right condition. Remember, we, when we talk about the condition, the temperature, right? What temperature do I have to keep my product? The right uh, place, the right time, the right customer, and the right price. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Those are the seven arts. Todo right, right? The right product, the right quantity, the right condition, the right place, the at right- the right place at the right time. The right customer. To the right customer. And the right price. If one of price. is not the right one, you may fail. As uh, going back to the conversation, what of these are what of these seven R's did not work for them in the conversation? Which of the seven R's didn't function? Hmm? What did this, the the seven R's? Which of the seven R's? didn't function for the people in the conversation that we were reading. They didn't, didn't function. They didn't comply, they didn't comply with some of the seven R's, which ones? The right condition. The right condition, uh-huh, because it was too hot. Another one? Uh, the right time. Was that on the right time? No, because it was late, right? It had to be taken back again. Which one, which other one? The right place. The right place, it didn't go to the right place. It went to another place. Another one. There is the right customer. The right customer, yes. It went to another company. So it was not the right customer. So it was not in the right condition, not in the right place on the right time, and not with the right customer. So that became a real problem. Now, I'm going to send you a document. I'm going to stop sharing here. I'm going to send you a document there in the chat. And we will be reading about the four, the four, four, no, the seven, five, right? So I'm going to divide you in groups for you to. For you to read, and then you will be sharing with us. Okay. Ashaba, it's our document. 
it's 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 a word document so in the chat of whatsapp okay you can download it there i'm going to send you in groups hmm they are seven. So I will make four groups. Four, four, four. So two groups will be talking about two uh, Rs, and the other will be talk uh, will be talking only about one. Vamos a ver. Or, para hacer only, a, only, only a one hour. No, you will be talking about about two, about two hours. Ya les voy a decir. Okay. Que le okay. okay. Thank you. Group number one. Group number one, uh, check in bien what number you are and what you have to tell. Uh, group number one, Brenda, Jose Arnoldo, Pedro, and Saul. You will have the introduction and the first R. Okay. Introduction and the first R. Brenda, Jose Arnoldo, Pedro, and Saul. Eh, Adriana Maria, David, Nubia, and Zulma. The second and the third R. Están numeradas, oye. So you go for the right customer and the right price. Group number one, you go for the introduction and the right product. Group number two, you go for the right customer and the right price. Group number three, Adolfo, Claudia, Carla, and Mauricio, you go for the right quantity and the right condition. Right quantity and condition. Right condition. And the last group, Adriana, Sofia, Cruz Antonio, Fernando, and Jose Alfredo, you go for the right time and the right place. Okay? Ready, ready? Yes. Remember, you read the information, analyze it, discuss it, and make it make a mini something to share and uh, to share with the others, right? Because everybody will read just the part that belongs to you. Questions? Questions, questions? Questions? No questions. Not at the moment. Okay, perfect. There we go. Mm -hmm. José Alfredo, hello. Uh, um, I can, I can share screen, <clears throat> but I, I have document in my phone. I can read. Um, The first part is uh, the introduction. The logistic. Oh, the first paragraph. <laughs> Primer paragraph. Mm -hmm. okay. Logistics. 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 Log
implements and controls the efficient effective flow of good services and related information from the point of origin to the point of the consumption in order to meet the many elements that play Read it aloud, you can read it together, right? <clears throat> Yeah, we are reading. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, analyze the what what is the number two and three, right customer or right price. Okay. Six. And uh, may, seven. Maybe maybe we can start reading the mm -hmm. article. Thank you, David. Welcome. Is number two? No, number three. Three. Both. Okay. Right customer and right price. Yes. Okay. And can you read? Okay. You can take turns to read. Okay, I'm going to read. Right customer. Customers are the core component of supply chain process. The right customer is about funding the customer and creating an awareness about our product and service. The greatest, greatest challenge involved in the world be to identify the customers to be targeted. The solution to finding the right customer could be to do market research. Managers must have knowledge about their target market. If the products are sold in the right market, then the company gains more leads and they get the right customers that can stay with them lifelong. Market research will give an insight into one who are supposed we are supposed to target. Then as per the budget, one will choose which marketing strategies to employ so that the right people know about our product and how to access to access the product. Okay, the right price. Uh, pricing is imperative for the business as it is the factor that this decides whether it has incurred profit or loss. The supply chain manager should research my market trends and set competitive, competitive Competitive price. For competitive, competitive a competitive price competitive price for the goods and services they must have a um, appropriate 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 price value in order to contract the company income and expenses a good system for storing and onboarding the right price ensures su successful in logistics management service. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher Claudia uh, write, write something in the WhatsApp. Oh, yeah. Ah, Claudia says, salut.
Um, okay, we can talk about right customer. What do you think about the that say in number two? Don't worry. Pero en ese grupo estaba, ¿verdad, Claudia? Sí, teacher. ¿Está? Oh, Claudia, welcome. Estaba perdida yo sola en un momento. Yeah, because we were talking with Carla and suddenly Claudia appears. Yeah. Magician. Right quantity and right condition. Yeah, but first, right quantity. Uh, yeah, we have, can represent. Have the imagine uh, color. Okay. You can go to the to the Google and find or look for a balance. Mm -hmm. I copy and paste. eBay. eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Survey is free. Like this? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I solo, pero tendría que ponerla como este enviar al fondo o tendría que cambiar el formato para que pueda meterle letra encima no. de, detrás del texto uh, I think the right place could also affect the right time if you choose a prompt place that that doesn't that doesn't match with your distribution strategy, maybe you could affect your your time of delivery. Yes. Your prompt. Yes. So for me, the right time is very close with right place. Mm -hmm. So one goes with the other one. Yep. Yes. If you want to get on time, uh -huh. you need to consider where are you and where Will you will you go? Where do you want to go? Uh -huh, exactly. Exactly. Where you are and where you want to go. Teacher, it is just to discuss these two, right? Yeah, discuss them, analyze them, uh, get an idea on how you're going to share with the rest of the people in the class. Because you're going to explain those two to you. So you're going, so you have to think in what way you're going to say it. But you can make your get your the information 
that you want to, to use, right? Para que lleven algo, no pasen así con todo el documento. Ok. Um, someone could type the, the analyze uh, the word. Hello. I think Close. we can I think we can manage it to answer that mm -hmm. to the group. Uh, just thinking about that. I think there's no need to to write it because if you think it you can say it. I think. Make a mini presentation. Make a mini presentation. The problem is that I, I am in the in my phone and I don't I don't know how to do that. Uh -huh. Any anybody or draw a picture? <laughs> draw a picture. How would you present that topic to the people? Mm -hmm. So what will you use well, to represent? Who else is here? Huh? Who else? Adriana Sofía, Fernando, y José Alfredo. Cruz, ¿Ah? Cruz and I. Cruz, Fernando, Enrique. Yeah. Tell me. Ahí está Fernando también. So you have José Alfredo, Fernando, and Cruz. Cruz maybe can share. Fernando, you are on the phone, right? Yes. Maybe. Me too. Cruz? Cruz, are you uh, in computer? I, I, I don't have WhatsApp in my laptop. Oh, I don't have the, no, pero, the, the, the pero, document. Mm -hmm, vaya. But they can tell you what to write in the document and you can share it from the computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. El la la. Five minutes. Sobre las viñetas de producto. Five minutes y me los llevo hoy. No. What? Five minutes. Ah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. But uh, to the right product. Okay. I think uh, the this, this tract of the right product, it can be in the second paragraph, uh, the best strategy in the line number one, two, three, in the fourth line, the best strategy is to choose a product that is in demand and that can guarantee profits. Having right knowledge and using the right product will facilitate, facilitate in efficiently managing the time and resources. Esto creo que es lo más importante. Sí, porque al inicio es como una introducción de lo que sería hacer un producto. Uh -huh. Te dice acerca de cuáles pueden ser los problemas que puedes tomar, los, los problemas que puedes tener, eh, no, los no, ítems no. que hay que tomar en cuenta para, 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 la, para la, eh, la logística pues, de que te pueda dar el producto. Voy a resaltar solo unas cositas acá de la de Let me see. Okay. Uh, the, uh, 
What part it will uh, read me? It's all it's a tips in the text. Mm. All right. Okay, okay. Product when designing properly will be very fast and intelligent to be used. Sure to that was the decision of the solution. So we make package, warehouse, product, country, and transport to the business. Product when designed properly will really be located. Uh, this strategy is to choose a product. Best strategy. Ah, the man and then having right. Knowledge. Ah, uh, right knowledge and using the right. Ah, okay. Can you please yeah. uh, give more? Hacer un poquito más grande la esa. Okay. Un poquito más grande. Maybe. Yes. Like this? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Okay. Let me see the other. All right. The introduction and the, and the right product. In the right product. Nice. Okay. Nice. Now, who's gonna to do the exposition? It's the chosen one. I don't know if Saul or, 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 or Jose Arnoldo can do that. Oh, <laughs> other two can, can help. One and one, uh -huh, as you have two things. Yeah. They yeah, have two. Two for one. Okay. It's just read uh, because it's all the there is one like all right. I can do the what this logistics. Okay. Jose dijo algo or no? Jose, you are there? Yes, I am. Okay. El que se se perdió el Saúl. Want to participate or not? Yeah. <laughs> In the exposition. Yes, I, I read the second one. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Can start. You read yeah, right? Nice. Vámonos. Yeah. Tú. Because if no, we won't have time. Yes. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Let's listen to, well, let's give them time all to come, right? Uh, 30, 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, everybody will be here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Talking about the, the introduction. Group number one. I guess now. Uh, Two seconds, one second. 
Ahí está. Uy, perdimos gente. Se me quedaron en el limbo. Ahí está. Okay. ok. Number one, the introduction. Brenda, José Arnoldo, Pedro, and Saul. You go for the introduction uh, and the first R. Go ahead. You can share the screen. I'll share the screen. All right. There you go. You can see the, the screen? Yes, perfect. Yeah. All right, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, we are uh, talk about the introduction in the first R. Uh, what, is a, what is logistic? Logistics is that part of supply chain management that plans, implements, and controls the efficient, effective flow and storage of goods, service, and services and related information from the point of origin to the point of consumption in order to meet customers' requirements. It is about getting the right product to the right customer in the right quantity, in the right condition, at the right place, at the right time, and at the right cost. The role of logistics is integral in every industry. The main aim of flex logistics deals with taking care of seven r's there these are as follow as i i mentioned it the right product is the first one to the right customer second the third in the right quantity in the right right in the right condition sorry at the fourth fourth at the great place, the fifth, and the right time, the sixth, and the seventh, on at the right cost. Let's talk about right product. Product, when designed properly, will greatly facilitate logistics if they ensure a certain level of standardization in the product measurement. During the design, we'll make packaging, warehousing, product handling, and transport considerably easier. The best strategy is to choose a product that is in demand and that can warranty profit. Having right knowledge and using the right product will facilitate efficaciously managing the time and resources. Okay, very good. Excellent, thank you, group number one. Very good, choosing the right product. Remember yesterday we were saying something that is a trend, right? Something that people want to buy. If no, you will get all your warehouse full of things and you will not sell them, right? Okay, number two, Adriana, Maria, David, Nubia, and Surma. Number two. Adriana, Maria, David, Nubia, and Surma. Okay, uh, the number two talk about uh, the importance uh, to choose correctly the customers by using a uh, market research uh, to find the customer that uh, allow the business to, to have the right customers and, and that uh, have with that lifelong with the uh, and the customers can stay uh, in the time. That is in, in number two. Okay. 
Hmm. And after that, as the first group mentioned, the three, number three is right price. You must have uh, the right product, right customer, but it's important right price because it's uh, as the deck says, it's a factor that decides whether it has incurred profits or loss and the company. And then within the group, we comment that nowadays it's important to have really clear how much we want to win as a business, if we want to win or not. Mm -hmm. And also the right price is important because it also give us profits or loss that also make us competitive in the market. Uh, with another enterprise that have the say product are us. So the right price is important and the supply chain manager should research market trends and set competitive price for the goods and service. So that's number three, right price. Right price, if you really want to compete, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you, Adrian and Sulma. Well, Thanks all the group because I know you were all working together in the designing of your information. And number three, Adolfo, Claudia, Carla, and Mauricio. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Or Mauricio. <laughs> okay. Um, we think about the right quantity. Uh, we can uh, we think that finished product is is um, the best the best behavior to the to the company is finished product uh, self self product for example because uh, there is no convenient to keep to keep a lot of product in storage right we can we can produce continuously to 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 feed the market for example this is the right quantity mm -hmm. yeah you you having a little bit of that if you have most uh, product that the, the demand require, the price going tends going down. So yeah. eventually you are losing money if you are you are doing a, a, a you are doing a producing the right quantity. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give you profit, right? All the things that you have in inventory will not give you a profit until you get rid of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that's why uh, you see the stores on sales and they are giving the products with low yeah. prices to get rid of them. Okay, right condition. I don't know, is Carla and Claudia wants to speak? Chicas, vamos, the power. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I left this. Carla, Carla. Right condition, uh, we're talking about the product, uh, uh, how to deliver it in good condition. Uh, for example, the apples, uh, 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 how to deliver it good. In, 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 we have to, we have to take uh, the time. And yeah, and, and include, and include every steps 
because when when the production is in, in agriculture, for, for example, uh, you can you can you can or you have to differentiate uh, the different steps. For example, it's not same the the biological ripening, ripening, ripening and commercial ripening. Uh -huh. Then, for example, bananas, uh, bananas, you can you can pick the bananas uh, with with green colors. Mm -hmm. And during the transportation and um, by sea, um, by the ocean, when are when when the bananas is arriving to the Europe, for example, uh, bananas is ripening, uh, is green, uh, is yellow color. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, the temperature. Oh. Yeah, temperature and and the oxide. Mm -hmm. Imagine a pollo campero. <laughs> the chicken, uh, because the chicken is frozen. Yeah, of course. They move that frozen chicken to the different stores that they have. Why yeah. They don't have the right condition to 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 move that chicken. It will get. Yeah, uh, it, it it's called a quick freezy mm -hmm. condition mm -hmm. because it's not a common refrigerator. No. 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 It's a quick freezing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And we go for the last group, Adriana, Sofia, Cruz, Antonio, Fernando, Enrique, and Jose Alfredo, who will chair. Me, teacher. Fernando. What will I share? <laughs> Who will chair? The presentation. Cruz. No, Cruz. <laughs> Me cambió el nombre. Cruz. <laughs> <Fernando> will... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Nice. We will explain the right time and the right place. Uh, for the right time, the time is an important factor in the logistics, even when all the process is done and accurately, a uh, brown time can, can affect all the process. So uh, we must have the products on the shelves or in stock at the right time, so we can get a uh, a positive satisfaction of our customers mm -hmm. and we can get a uh, deliver the products before the deadline the last one is right place this uh, we agree that this is uh, as important as the right time because the right, the right place cannot affect our logistic in the time. If we are in the pro place, maybe we could we could have a bad time and we cannot deliver our products before the deadline. So uh, we think that the right place is very close of the right time. Definitely, they are connected, right? Yeah, to get uh, the satisfaction of customers. Yes. Imagine if instead of sending the product to El Salvador, here, our country, they send it to Salvador. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, in Brazil. So, uh -huh, yeah. they, they can get the wrong place. And of course, the, the, while they notice and they resend the product to the right place, it is yeah. late, right? It is late. I have been, I've been working in logistics maybe for eight years. And once uh, we have a case 
April. Uh, a shipment will be sent. A shipment were <laughs> sent to Salvador in Brazil. Oh. And maybe we we take a two a month or a, a month and a half to get the the shipment in the correct place mm -hmm. and to get the, the arrival in El Salvador. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But it was, it was a new case and very difficult to, to mm -hmm. dispatch it from Brazil because we have to, to don a, a customs clearance in Brazil and then to get the paperwork to dispatch from Brazil to El Salvador. Of course, that's at least one week miss there. Yep. Yeah. And all the time for transporting everything. Yeah. Of course. Higher cost. And the cost, exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's not the right cost anymore, right? No. Cost. We have the pro place and the bad time. <laughs> Yeah, that's terrible. Okay, thank you. Well, excellent job for everybody. There we were uh, talking about the seven R's. Let's see, without looking at the document, can you mention the seven R's? Uh -huh. Number one, it doesn't matter if you don't tell them in order, right? Tell me one. The right, right product. The right product. Product. Mm -hmm. Right price. Right customer. Price. The right customer. Right time. The right time. Right, right condition. Place. Right place. The right place. We're missing two. Right condition. Right quantity. The right condition and the right. Quantity, hey, very good. We can take much. They are not having any more, they are eight. Okay, very good, excellent. Bueno, let's see, see, see. Checking, attendance, hey. que esta lista se fue loca. Okay, here we go. Okay, today it's staying with me, Brenda. Brenda, Brenda, Alexandra. Okay, teacher. Okay. Adolfo Rivas. Present teacher. And Adriana Maria. Present. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. José Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Gilberto. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Kevin. Mauricio. Good night. Good night. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Pedro. Se fue Pedro. Saul Edgardo. Present. Zulma. Present. Richard. Fernando Enrique. Present. Rosy. Rosy. No hay Rosy. Ok, bueno. Teacher, teacher, sorry, uh, I, uh, I can answer. Present. <laughs> sí, Pedro, 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 Pedro. Ok, Pedro, I see you here. Ok, well, 
Have a nice night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Night. Have a nice Good night. 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 God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. Bye. See you. Hi, Brenda, how are you? Hi, fine teacher. A little sick, but fine. <laughs> uh, you're sick too, sí, verdad? Yeah, I have a little fever and my eyes, I feel like a tire. Oh, yes. That's sad. Yeah, because of the fever. Yes, it is maybe for the climate. The climate is affecting. Yeah, definitely. That is affecting a lot. Is yes. it raining where you live? I'm living in Metapan. You live in Metapan? No. Yes, Metapan City. Is it raining in Metapan, Brenda? No, it's a cold in the morning. But it's very cold. Is it cold? Mm, no. In this time, it's cold in the morning. In the afternoon, it's very hot. Uh -huh. That change of temperature really affects, right? That in the morning, it is very cold. Well, in late at night, it's very cold. In the morning, when you wake up, and then... Uh, the rest of the day it, uh, uh, and the rest of the day it, it's very hot yeah. it's artistified great yeah. yeah 35 wow yes yeah, it's a lot <laughs> because right now here i don't know that it is true or not but it says that we are at 22 degrees i uh, i'm here i see what does your computer say? <laughs> computer doesn't say nothing, but I say my phone. But it's uh, cold, no, it's hot right now. My cell phone, no, no me dijo nada. But in the computer, in the computer, uh, 22 degrees. 20, 20 degrees. 20 degrees, okay. 20 degrees. So it is kind of, kind yeah. of cold. Yeah. It's fresh. It's Make fresh. It In the morning, it's more fresh. In the afternoon, it's... Yeah, and the thing is that uh, later, it gets colder, right? At it, 1, 2 a.m., it becomes colder. And the next day it becomes hot again. Uh -huh. It's That's very crazy. Yeah. Very chain climate. Yes. And definitely yeah. that really affects your throat. Very much. Yeah. In, this, in the the salud in in the health. Health. The health of of health. <laughs> Yes. But you are not sick, teacher? You no, thanks, God, no. Yeah. On Monday, I felt a little bit sick. On uh, Monday night. Yes, I listened that. Uh-huh. I was with temperature and then okay. with headache. Ah, yeah. Yesterday, I was with headache in the morning. Okay. But later on, it passed, right? Okay. It passed, and the good thing is that today I, I, I felt well. I don't know if it was maybe being a little bit tired or something, uh -huh, because, yeah. because. Uh, you don't talk to a doctor? And, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No, I just took two acetamino things. And that was it. If I didn't take anything else. Yes, I will take uh, acetaminophen. I cannot drink ibuprofen. I cannot take no. ibuprofen. No. no, because about March, 
I broke my tendon, so I have problems here. Then I took too much a buprofen and metocarbamol. So now if I drink if I take a ibuprofen or a metocarbamol, I get dizzy. Okay. <laughs> so no more. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I was taking two pills every day, two ibuprofen, two? metocarbamol because of the pain. Uh, my boss took the ibuprofen all the days, but every day. The... For su cholesterol, toma ibuprofen. Ah. For the cholesterol, you take a ibuprofen. Really? I don't know why, but I was drink. <laughs> I never heard that ibuprofen was <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's the first time we hear that. Yes, me too. You what? <laughs> ah, because no, ibuprofen for headache or something like that. But now no. I better put cream and I try to relax, do something different. Okay. <laughs> but I try to forget the pain. It's a stranger, it's a stranger <laughs> for <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah. I try to forget the pain, doing something different, drink tea, put some cream, give a little massage, but I don't drink any pill anymore. No, it's, it's a fact. See. Yeah. And as I was taking two every day, two as a two ibuprofen, two metocarbomol. Now I can't no, I cannot use more. <laughs> Imagine, no. <laughs> okay, Brenda. Well, I will let you go sleep then. I hope you feel better. Thank you, teacher. Let's rest and see you tomorrow. Yes, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Take care. Take care, teacher.